Night. I'm Ryan. I'm Chris. And tonight we're doing a review episode. Another yeah, another short review tonight. We are gonna do uh, the new OC's album, A Foul Form. Foul Form. Uh, yeah, the prolific OCs, right? They put out, they put out like three records a year, some shit, right? Sometimes, yeah. This is yeah. uh, this is their first one in a bit. They did a lot in uh, I think like twenty twenty one. They're just kind of always doing stuff. But this is their twenty sixth studio album. Jesus fuck! There are plenty of bands that have been around for years and years that put out like thirteen, right? You know, like, <laughs> like, so yeah, twenty six is a. You know, the, the, when I, I put the OCs and the um, King Gizzard in the same sort of box of how like prolific they are mm-hmm. because of the material, I feel like and that, like how how rabid fans are. Like, are you one of those rabid fans? Yeah, I think of like both bands. I, I mean, there's people that are more more into them than me, where you know, people know like everything about their personal lives and what they're doing, and I'm more of just like. I'll enjoy, I'll listen to everything you put out and be excited when, <laughs> you know, you drop little hints, but some so people take it this, too far. Before this, my only, uh, my only reference for OCs, I actually have the OCs record, Future Fire 2. Mm-hmm. So, and we did a, we did an episode where you listen to Face Stabber. Oh yeah, oh yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> I forgot about Face Stabber <laughs> for a second. I don't know how. Um, but yeah, this one, a foul form. Uh, do, real quick, do you have a, a quick primer on who, oh, the, who OCs are? Oh, uh, they're like an LA based. They're like, I think they fit into kind of like the neo psychedelic group grouping mm-hmm. in kind of like with King Gizzard. They're in there with like Ty Siegel. Um, mm-hmm. But they do incorporate more stuff from like metal, from punk, from kraut rock and jam bands. And they, they really kind of like synthesize a bunch of, stuff and, and john dwyer he, he's like the like the guy he's the, basically oc's guy right correct um but on their okay. past like i don't know decent amount of albums maybe 10 albums they've been a pretty large group so it's been a guitar player a synth player a bass player and two drummers so they've got mm-hmm. a pretty like large group uh which i think makes this release uh significantly funnier because it is a <laughs> It's it's a straight up like punk album. So they've yeah, got hardcore, like hardcore punk album, early early eighties maybe mid mid eighties mid eighties. Right. Uh, so they've hardcore. got a whole like Doobie Brothers setup <laughs> to play, you know, like basement jams, and I love it. Yeah. Uh, yeah if you'll um, if you will humor me before we jump into the album. Oh sure sure sure. I really want to read the uh, like press release for this album. Okay. Let's do it. It's like a whole. I'm on their website, and it's like a whole like pretty large paragraph describing what you're about to get into. So ready? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Brainstem cracking scum punk recorded tersely in the basement of my home. After a notoriously frustrating eon, the knee jerk song path was aggressive and hooky. This is an homage to the punk bands we grew up on. The weirdos and art freaks that piqued our interests and pointed us on the trailhead to here slash now. Bad times make for strong music is something I agree with. I would say that is evident in the past few years of output from the underground. Uh, transmissions have been all over the map, scanning, searching, sweeping out in the darkness, looking for a foothold. A foul form represents some of our most savage and primal instincts, fight or flight, and the importance of a sense of humor in the darkest hour. Nothing wrong with keeping it snappy in the meantime. For fans of rudimentary peni, crass, bad brains, black flag, screamers, aborts, stooges, and all things aggressively tilted toward your face. You can lean back, but don't flinch. It's a brief foray into the exhausting pogo pit, so stiffen your back and jerk your knees. Enjoy. That's a good way to put it. Uh, (laughs) In fact, fact, you know, I started, I began listening to this, you know, Monday, and uh, I've been also listening to this in Crass, like, consistently. Oh, yeah, (laughs) did it inspire you to go listen to some hardcore punk? Well, you know, I, uh, I was pretty familiar with Crass before this, mm-hmm. um, and even a way because Jeff Lewis did a, a ra- album called Twelve Crass Songs, where he basically took twelve Crass songs and made them their own. Some of it's even better, uh, but oh, um, shit. yeah, don't I want to? Yeah, uh, I'm don't telling wanna, Crass, uh, I'm calling them yeah. up right now. <laughs> they're they're uh, at their commune somewhere in the, the forest of uh, England. <laughs> uh, but a foul form, man. 
they, this sounds like they, they it said the basement of his house, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like it looks like they took like just like a a mixing board, just brought it down, and it's played the guitars into it. <laughs> um, I, and it, I think it works really well for the oh yeah uh, yeah yeah like the style. And I think mm-hmm. they do a really good job doing like a punk album. Yeah, like this scratched it, that like hardcore punk itch that I've had for a while now. Oh yeah, the thing is, like the, I know that those I know the OCs or OCs whatever he's calling it this this album. I, they change styles from each record. So Yeah, like, but I've seen a lot of people say this is like a big left turn for them to go into like hardcore know. punk, but it's like there's a couple of tracks on Face Stabber that go into it. Um, they were heading this way on Protean Threat. The first like three tracks of Metamorphosed are pretty heavy and punk like. So I don't I don't know where people are getting like hard left turn, but I'm glad they like committed to it because i think those do turn out to be some of the some of my favorite tracks from those albums yeah this record's 22 minutes long so yeah, very uh, quick just kind of in and out which is great honestly when, when it comes to music like this um 10 tracks uh one is done is a cover of a rudimentary peni record or song mm-hmm. which I, I i'm still not like i i i have a hard time like getting into them but when it comes to like crass and uh, you know, all the bad brains that early stuff I was, uh, I'm pretty, pretty well versed in, you know, I've been, I, I think I've listened to one rudimentary P album back in the day when I was like first getting into punk and I didn't get it. And then their yeah, stuff yeah. has just been like impossible for me to find. Like, I don't think it's on streaming stuff. I'm sure I could find like a YouTube rip or something like that. <laughs> uh, yeah. so I haven't listened to a lot of them, but I'll probably, I'll probably dive back in at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, listen, to, like, you know, like, uh, I'm, you know, I'm a big fan of stuff on Discord. So, like, uh, Discharge and all that other stuff. Like, I, I have a rumors or knowledge of that. I mean, even rumors, I mean, I, but like, <laughs> I, I, I know a little bit about early days hardcore. And this, this is heavier for mm-hmm. one. It's more angry. It's also, uh, a, a scummier. You know what I mean? Like, right. It's like, yeah. <laughs> It, it's dirty and crusty and, gr- and great. I like this record a lot. I, I was, I'll probably, I mean, I've listened to it more than I've had to. So like, Same. I listened to it. Uh, I think we had like originally planned to do this uh, like a couple of days ago. Mm, yeah. uh, and I think I've listened to it at least once or twice a day leading up to that previous recording session. And then again, leading up to today. Yeah, man, this, this is, um, uh, it's, it sounds gross, which is not, not a slag on it. Right. That sounds- <laughs> that's what you want it's that you want it to sound gross and heavy and it a lot of it's very like you know head naughty like oh yeah yeah it's definitely that uh it's yeah it's not it's 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 um it's brutal uh john's voice in this fantastic oh yeah couldn't sound worse could sound more snotty or angry and i love <laughs> i love that he's kind of like all over the place too where he's not committing to a certain vocal style yeah um, like there's a track, I think it's perm act, um, where it's like, he puts on a, a British accent for like a line. Well, to be fair, I think there's a lot of British accents throughout this whole thing. If yeah. I was some for it, uh, which is not, not a bad thing. There are plenty of bands that do a funny British accent. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. It just sounds but, like he's having fun with his vocals. What I, is what yeah. I like. Oh yeah. He was, uh, he said this was a fun thing to do. I, I mean, so going to find the lyrics for this was difficult. I was able to find lyrics, I think, for the songs out of the ten, mm-hmm. and one of one has already been, you know, sacrificed by Andrew Pinter. That's all he has the lyrics for it too. So um, it does sound a lot. Like, it does sound it's better than Crass because Crass they just do you know two or two chords and chant. Right. You know, like <laughs> and that, that's not a bad thing. I like Crass said their own thing, but when it comes to like stuff that I like, this has this has more. Uh, it's more dynamic than stuff that Crass, especially the feeding of the five thousand, put out. Um, not, but again, I, I don't want to talk shit on Crass. They were very influential. You know, all those bands that they're following are very influential. But uh, John and the, and the guys they they put out a a pretty killer uh, a hardcore punk record that I that holds up to what we think of as good music today. Mm-hmm. I guess you know. Uh, 
I'm not listening for it for nostalgia. I'm listening for it for new shit, and this new shit is some good shit. <laughs> I agree. Um, uh, for me, it's got mm-hmm. some standout tracks. You've got Funeral Solution, I think. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. One of my favorites, A Foul Form is I think probably my favorite off this album. I mean, me too. I also really like uh fucking kill me. <laughs> so yeah. It's good record. Uh, I, good and song title of the year, uh social yeah. butt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I have a hard time. Like I can understand someone saying this all sounds the same. Cause you know, every time I'm like, Oh yeah, this is a different song. Okay. Not my track list, but uh, yeah, there's definitely like, you know, there's at least one slower song that, it exceeds three minutes thirty seconds. I think that's what "Too Late for Suicide" is a slower song. That's that's one of them. And then, like, I think "Perm Act." It's not yeah. slower, but it is a little longer. Yeah, every every their song is under two minutes. Uh, yep. <laughs> which is we talked about uh, when it comes to punk law. <laughs> Most things have to be under two minutes right. if you want to be a punk song. I will uh, say, like, it's nice having like a twenty-two minute kind of quick in and out, and it's perfect for it. Oh, yeah. But I do wish it was longer. Do you wish it was like a double album? Not a double album. That might be a little too long, but like, yeah, maybe 12 tracks. Okay. Because I I do feel like by the time we get to Sacrifice and Sacrifice Ends, which is the final track on the album, I'm like, oh, that's it. Oh, yeah. And then I restart and listen to it. And I (laughs) I mean, I like I like listening to it over and over again. But it's like, man, maybe just like one or two more tracks on here. Because you can yeah, still I, keep it under thirty minutes. Do you is. feel? We do you feel a little cheated? No, you get a I record don't feel cheated. Because yeah. they also didn't charge like a shitload for it. I think this was like twenty bucks. Did uh, you uh, out the door? Did you get it? Oh yeah, I I yeah. ordered it straight from Castleface. So I actually got this album on August fifth, and it didn't come okay. out until August twelfth. Uh, I bet you feel like a badass. Can, I like did. An so, advanced copy. <laughs> yeah. So I've I've listened to it a shitload of times. Okay. Also, did not come with a lyric sheet. So I'm with you in that. I don't know what any of the lyrics are. A oh, funeral solution you find online. A foul form you find online, and of course, sacrifice. And I'm sure and probably say, perm act as well. Pretty much, those are all the singles. Yeah. Yeah. So so they have videos okay. which I'd recommend checking out. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, I recommend checking out this record. It's one. It's not going to take up a ton of your time. And if you if you didn't like it, whatever, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> but um, but I know, like I, I like this record. Uh, it makes me want to listen to Face Stabber again. You know. Yeah. Or or you could uh, you could go back to like Protean Threat or something like that if you want something yeah. more punky and but, not something that has like twenty five minute jam tracks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which are uh, my, are some of my favorite tracks, but I I know I've watched um, OC's concerts with people. And they're like, what should I listen to? And I'm like, Face Stabber. And they're like, hey, do you have anything that doesn't have 15-minute <laughs> long jam things, 25-minute long jam things? Yeah, I mean, that was a lot of the early episodes of Record Night. You bring something with like, oh, yeah, this song is 18 minutes long. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and they'll oh continue to show up. Don't oh, yeah, for worry. sure. Don't for you sure. worry. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, I'm, super excited. I was super, I'm super stoked on a foul form. This is a fun record. And I... And one of the most angry things I've heard in a long time. Yeah. It like it's yeah. it's cathartic to listen to and it sounds like it was cathartic for them to record. Oh yeah, it had been it had been a ton of fun to do this in the base basement of John Dwyer's house. I'd love to shitties. see some of these tracks live. Oh yeah, yeah. Hopefully I wonder how they sound live because part of the charm of this record is how poorly it is recorded or how shitty it sounds. Mm-hmm. You know? It's like he's like, I'll have a four track and a mixing board, which is just plug into it. <laughs> it was fun. It's a it, so it's a group of four people. Is this a or is it a trio? Because this sounds like it could be. No, it'd this be... is uh, this is five people. Okay. <laughs> right. I think the I think the keyboard player uh, switched to guitar. I don't think he's playing any keyboards on this. Two drummers so three... and a bass player. Okay. All right. Cool. So. Uh, yeah, I, I'd be interested in definitely seeing some of the stuff like see how see how it translates. Um and fuck I, I think that's all I have to say about it. Me too. Yeah, like right. I, that, go listen to it. Like this thing this thing is one of my favorite albums of the year so far. All right guys, uh thanks for listening to Record Night. I'm Chris. And I'm Ryan. All right, we'll tell talk to you guys later. Oh yeah. So see you guys later. Bye.